This is Tam. This is Sunday after Tam. Can you guys still show me your Monday. your Monday? Monday? Your Tam Monday. This is Tam Monday. This is what it looks like. This is this is it. This is what it looks like. More and more caffeine. Yeah, this is my second cup of coffee. Let me let me take a picture over here real quick. Hold on. So you can see this is the Coronado Cafe where most people hang out yeah. afterwards. I'm shooting a video for my for my Wikipedia editors, the GSO project. They're all over the world. I want to sh let them see what a Monday looks like after Tam. Can you show me your Monday? It's sad. Your Monday <laughs> look. So this is how it looks the day after Tam. <laughs> wait, wait, do it, do it. It's bending. Oh, it's bending. We're tired. They're just. Everybody's just kind of tired. Rainful. Some of us are Monday people. Some of us are Monday people, but Monday after Tam is a different environment Central than. Central nervous system shutting down, <laughs> rebooting. It's um, the cafe. Like I said, I'm so sorry. Here's there's casino stuff all over the place. And hey, Robert, give me a hug. Bye, Robert Schaefer. That was Robert Schaefer saying goodbye. And what else? Wave. This is we want our Monday Tam Monday faces. Can you show us your Tam Monday face? I'm making this video for my Wikipedia editors all over the world to be able to see. Show show us your Monday. All right, Tam Monday. What would it, what did it look like on on Thursday or Friday when you got here? What did your face look like then? <laughs> You're supposed to say, yay! We're all excited. We can't wait to get to Tam. This is going to be a blast. Jet lagged. Oh, jet lagged. Okay. Where'd you come from? Gothenburg, Sweden. Oh, you're from Sweden. Wow. I think everybody's like buying. They're not listening to me. You're listening to me. Aren't you, Jesus? Yeah. No. My team is listening. Aren't you guys listening? No. They are. New, new people. They're the new people are listening to me. These older people, these old people here are all just like, I'm it's, over Susan. My back starting to ache, so. He's, he's old and he's got his walker here. He's just <laughs> ancient. We wish you guys were here. We really do. We've had so much fun at town. The discussions have been fantastic. We've solved all the world's problems. We just can't get people to, to, to put them in effect. We know what to do, right? We just can't get them done. There's always these people competing with us. What are you looking at? This is my son Sterling, by the way. Say hi, Sterling. <laughs> need more coffee. He doesn't drink coffee. He needs some That's coffee. Point. You got to learn to drink coffee. I don't want to drink coffee. <laughs> anyway, all right, say hello, say goodbye to everybody, and don't say anything else interesting again. I'm about to hit my shuttle to get to the airport. It's 9.50 in the morning. Which is so bad. A.M. I'm packed. We're ready to go. You know, uh, she's she has a car. I don't know if we can ride with her together because I have a uh, uh, suit suitcase like the size of Texas. <laughs> okay. Size of Texas. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe size of Amazon or whatever. But it's, it's, it's big, so I don't know. It's washing your hands, but it's so dry here. her car, because she's really like, what? No, no, no. But she has her, yeah, she, she has her son, so I don't know. My suitcase is pretty small, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, John had a, I don't have John's Yeah, if I don't fit in the car, I take a cab, no problem. <laughs> Why are you still in your <laughs> I'm currently working on the murder plan just for revenge. <laughs> the details are a little fuzzy, but it's. Hello, my people. This is Jay Diamond sitting down to us. He's all around. Gigolo. Gigolo, show us your packs. I'm not going to show you my packs. <laughs> Eyes up here. Eyes, Eyes up, up here. here. Eyes up here. <laughs> uh, Jay Diamond runs Reason for Reason. This is a video I'm, I'm filming for my. My, my editors that all over the world are watching. So we've already been talking about what are your travel plans to get back? <laughs> He's got a car. He's, you're driving. I'm driving. I'm driving convertible back to San Francisco Bay area. From 
from Vegas, baby. And how long of a drive is that? It's nine hours. Nine hours. Oh, yeah. How many? How many I'm women have did the you? Wind flowing in my hair for nine hours. <laughs> it's gonna really mess up your hair. Dude. I did it coming down here. I don't think it did good for my quad. No, no. You know, I think I can still see. It's not quite back to normal. I really haven't looked at a mirror since I got here. So, I haven't changed yeah. clothes. <laughs> Oh, we know. Uh, we know. Is that why you're going from table to table? <laughs> They're newlyweds. So, this is Rachel. No, her name is not Rachel. Stop. Don't tell your wife. <laughs> How long have you two been married? One month and a day. Tell these people who are listening what you're talking about. They don't have no idea what a BMX is. Oh, a BMX is Make a... something up. Make something good. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's basically a hovercraft device that, uh, that these kids ride. Uh, it's kind of like, like, like from Back to the Future. Um, and, uh, Only they and, have spikes along the yeah, bottom. Yeah, they, they, spikes on the bottom, and you know. I saw that yesterday. It's uh, it's, uh, it's a competition where they do they do stunt stuff. It's uh, kind of like a bicycle competition, but it's in the future. <laughs> and what about it? Uh, they have lots and lots of really young children running around in, in this BMX gear. At this casino. Unfortunately, you get stuck oh, really? in elevators with them and they smell like Axe body spray. Yeah. So, so I and they stuck, press every button. I got stuck in an elevator with a BMX kid and nothing happened. But <laughs> Thankfully. It, uh, no coffee. Yeah, no, they're, well, I mean, they're they're, they're like seven-year-olds, so, I mean, the coffee thing... Were they busy pushing all the buttons in the elevator, or Some did you did you, or did you have to push them aside so you could push every button in the elevator? We got yeah, in a they, couple they, of they times. beat me to it. <laughs> we got in a couple of times, and the kids would reach for it, and they'd be like, no, no. Because <laughs> they knew that's exactly what they were doing. It's usually the last day, but we love this, the people who are here, the BMX people. I've been very nice to them this year. This has been my my mission to be well, to ever skeptical we outreach. Nice to them. Yes, we were being nice to them. Did you counter um, my measures? I, I think a few because of them might we are have we're <laughs> we're showing how important it is well, to show that this. You may or may not come home. So there's a conference going on at the same time. It's a, it's a competition. It's yeah. BMX or bicycles for young children, and there's it's massive. And they've been here three years. Well, they they got to go home. Oh. But this is their third, <laughs> third year in a row. Year in a row. Some, of them, some of them got home. Some, some of them are still here. here. Or, 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 one thing you know. I noticed that they, that they, they are they, all, almost all kids have a trophy, like oh, yeah. this big. I don't know if all all of them get trophies or that they all they, they have all those, those competitions that you know. No, you don't see the ones that don't have trophies because they're eliminated away. Oh, I'm being told by my son, my handler here, that we have to go. So I'm sorry. Maybe I'll show you a little bit more of the of the casino as we walk out. Say bye. 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 Help me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. I can hurt myself. It's my job. I'm supposed to hurt myself eventually. Okay, here we go. We have not seen the outside world since Chase Monday, since we got here on Wednesday night. So I'm preparing myself for the Las Vegas July. Whew. I'm afraid to go outside any further. Who is in the cluster? Of this is everybody from Tam. This is an editor. This is a video for my editors of Wikipedia from all over the world. Say hello to them. Hello. Say you need to come to different events. Come to the things and do things with us and show us your Monday morning uh, Tam face. Go sleep. Come to the thing and do things. Do you think you have, might, should have had a bit more sleep last night? I, I've actually gotten a lot of sleep. Come. You got more sleep than most of Yeah, I have. Loved your lecture. Oh, sharks are too kind. Uh, I was very lucky, actually, that down in the foyer, they had that advertisement, the movie foyer, they had the advertisement for that Lucy movie. Yeah. With Scarlett Johansson. You know, for, you uh -huh. use only 10% of your brain. Oh, I use 11. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell, tell them who you are? Because I know who you are, but uh, I want them to be able to... Uh, my name is Carl Krasinski. My official title is Lord and Master of Time and Space. No, I'm and just that's true, kidding. that's true, that's true. Uh, no, I'm just a science guy. This is the two... This, the, for the two people who don't know who he is, he's the... <laughs> what do they say? 
Yeah. Bill Nye was based on him. Not quite. <laughs> everybody does different things. Oh, so everybody does different things. So in my case, what I do uh, is I answer questions on radio. Because I'm, I've got a broad but shallow education. So I'm qualified as a physicist, mathematician, biomedical engineer, doctor and surgeon, as well as several non-degree years in computer science, astrophysics, philosophy, electrical engineering. So that combined with my reading means I've got a wide but shallow knowledge. Two bags. These are well-traveled bags. Look at that. Well loved. Well loved. Yep. That is awesome. Well Say something. So the Henderson is where we're at in Las Vegas. It's 88 degrees. And that's not so bad because it's 10 in the morning. It's actually bearable. It's 52. Here's the Celsius. For, for. So it is 31 Celsius here. Not that big a deal. It's actually bearable, huh, Celine? This is way cool. This is way cooler than we used to have, right? Usually. We usually like you walk outside and your contacts feel like they're melting to the inside of your eye, which is why I'm wearing glasses. In case you don't recognize me, this is this is my. Uh, what? No, no. Talk, talk Susan Gerbic, Superman. Can I ask you the question again? How many times have you been to Carl? This is my sixth. Okay, his sixth. In case you don't understand his accent. <laughs> You know, this is people in, you know, Russia or, you know, so he said six. That's six. And how do you feel it compared to other towns? Uh, it was great, probably better than most of the other ones. Why? Well, it's just the, the whole concept, the theme of skepticism in the brain really just so key and core to skepticism you know, what you need to understand cognitive limitations and things like that. It's a really important, kind of like almost an inward looking theme in terms of things we need to be aware of for ourselves as opposed to a lot of the other ones where it's like, here's the things out there in the world, this particular thing we need to focus on. This was like the first time I can remember that it was a really focused on a theme. They've had themes in the past, but they were kind of like People kept breaking the theme. You know, somebody, it would be on. Yeah. What have we had? We had. Uh, Fighting the Faker, Tam 9 from Outer Space. Yeah. And then the other ones, the themes were obviously so limited that I don't even remember what the themes were. Yeah. The but then again, it is Monday yeah. after Tam. We got here on Wednesday. And this is the first time you've been outside, right? Yes. And this is the first time I've been outside. All the restaurants and everything are inside this casino. It's not that big, really. It's. The casino as a whole is probably the size of a giant grocery store somewhere. Maybe two grocery stores. It's not that big. And we just live in there and it's our own little echo climate and we don't, uh, we have all these rooms up above that people tend to go to to actually close their eyes for a few minutes and then get up and then they come back down and so it is a, as a, if you were to think of the casino as a floor plan, just like bump onto the Nevada desert floor, it's not that much space. It's up a little bit, but not, what is it, like 12 floors, 15, 13 floors? Uh, I, was on, uh, I was on 24 and there was one floor above me. Yeah. And then there's probably the people above that that we are secret. So we're in the middle of Nevada. Well, not in the middle of that. We're in Vegas, but we're nowhere near the Strip. This is, um, here's our casino. Here's our hotel. So you can see it's not massive. This is the view out of my bedroom window. Is, uh, my, my hotel room is one of those. The parking garage. So as you can see, it's, it's just not um, built up that much out here. This is a... Um, you know, the strip is, where is the strip? I've been there, all behind us. Eight or nine miles, I think. Eight or nine miles? Yeah. How many kilometers is that? This is an international video here. Come on now. Well, 93 million miles is 150 million kilometers. Okay. That's the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Okay. So how far is that in relationship to our casino? And the main strip. How many miles was it again? Kilometers. Yeah, oh, what nine. Miles What'd you say? You say? Eight or nine miles. So, 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 so,
15 kilometers. And how, and how many is that in parsecs? Parsecs? And, and sagans. Round it down to zero. Sagans. In parsecs, zero. But their sagans is a unit of measurement, too. They, look at those rooms to rent. You guys need to want to rent a home, a one or two bedroom, there's a phone number. Give it a call. I'm sure you can get a discount from the UK. They'd love to have you here. There's mountains. It's a beautiful, beautiful area, Las Vegas, Nevada. Look at the scenery. Wow. And just dry, dry, dry. Oh, look, here's, here's, the, here's the tropical nature of Las Vegas with their beautiful Topiary, like the wall we're going by right now. I didn't, I heard is it going to end soon? Well, I'll look on this side. This is the topiary. Um, weeds, um, tumbleweed, um, highways, uh, rock, sand, palm trees that were planted here by the uh, ancient Egyptians, I believe, right? Um, yeah. The aliens came and they, yeah, they, with the alien help, they were able to build this casino. There's no other reason why anybody would build a casino here unless aliens did it. Because why else would somebody, I mean, there's no reason, right? We are in the middle of nothing. This is the hottest place almost on earth. And they brought all the, you know what it was? They brought all the celebrities, the kind of, and celebrities and they brought it and they built a place just to put them as a repository that we can come visit once in a while but you don't want to stay too long because it's too hot that's what it is right like a dinosaur celebrity zoo you're saying a, a, a di right? dinosaur celebrity zoo kind of Dinos yeah and we come as humans we come to just look at them poke fun of them maybe laugh a couple times and then just say we were there you know but I think Vegas is kind of picked as the place for the JREF Foundation's uh, town because it's got cheap airports. Uh, I mean, well, not the airport isn't cheap, but the, there's an airport that's centrally located because everybody, and they make the flights relatively inexpensive because, you know, airlines want to bring people in, you know, people are coming here. So here's a good question. How much money did you lose gambling while you were here? How much what? How much money did you gamble? Zero. Zero. In, in. Zero. In fact, I found a nickel and I found a five dollar bill laying on the floor. So I came out five dollars and five cents ahead. Here's more scenery. Well, I, haven't, I haven't gambled a single penny in all six times that I've been here. I think I'm, I think I'm down like, I think I used a five dollar bill once when I was waiting for food to show up. So I was sitting at a machine and I just played five dollars worth and then I cashed it out after two dollars. I think it was a penny machine. We're not we're not the gambling type. I wonder why skeptics aren't much gamblers, you know? They don't make any money off of us, that's for sure. It's almost it's almost as if we think about it critically. Oh wow. Math, you think that the people here at inner uh, know about math and maybe understand that math is we kind of got it, right? Yeah. Like more, more of the beautiful scenery. I hope you're all enjoying this. It's endless. It goes on and on. The boot barn is over there. Oh, there's a boot barn, as you pointed out. The boot barn. Uh, that means the things you put on the bottom of your feet that are long, they're tall, that the cowboys ride, use all the time, because we're all cowboys, right? There's their boots. They're, they're short boots. They're, they're very short with uh, shoestrings. So. I actually wear boots every day to work, though. Do you? I don't own a pair of dress shoes. I, I wear boots. Actually, I do have I do have boots on. They're short boots, but I do have boots on. They're the most comfortable things I own, so that's why I wore them. And I had to pack a light. I hope you're all enjoying this wonderful narrative of pre-TAM, a post-TAM uh, bus ride. Um, anybody who's still hanging in and watching this video still, uh, I'm, I'm shocked. Uh, get a light. <laughs> Uh, go do something productive like edit Wikipedia, you know, come on, you guys get back to your projects that you're supposed to be doing, and uh, look, there's nude men, thunder down under, 
We didn't go to that. And come to town next year, you forgot to say. Yeah, and come, come here next year so you can be here for the enjoyment. You might be able to get it. Maybe there'll be a day trip to visit the boot barn. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. I mean, we could put that on our, our list of things we want to do next time. I'm sure that would be exciting. If there's anyone from Australia watching, we're next to a scientific rock star here. Yeah, he is a rock star. Ladybugs. Anybody who wears ladybugs is all right by me. He knows how to spell his name correctly. That's, that's always a plus. He had bright green pants on. I mean, bright green pants on for most of the uh, town experience. And it was hilarious because it was like, that guy stands out. That was awesome. Very, very fun. Oh, we're almost there. Are we at the airport? The, the first time I saw him this year, I tweeted that I have to defeat him in combat to consume his power because there could be only one Carl in the game. Oh, that's right. You named after uh, Carl Marx? No. No. Uh, it's the wrong Carl for Carl Sagan. I named after my grandfather. Was he Carl Marx? No. Oh. Was he named after Carl Marx? No. Oh. Well, I'm really disappointed now, and I think my listeners are very disappointed. We're in a tunnel, or it got, or there's a solar eclipse. I'm not quite sure. Or the sun just burned out. You know, it does. It does that once in a while. The mothership is hovering over us. The mothership. Blocking the sun. Yeah, the mothership. Oh, yeah. It could be. You never know. Whoa! Wow! It is bumpy. I feel like I'm back in Edinburgh, the cobblestones. Oh look, airplanes. We have those here in America. They're giant birds. And um, we just discovered them. It's a new species that uh, they, they're birds. We've tamed them and we use them for transport. They're like tortoises. The birds, you know, they eat people. Fly them to their destination, harm which they regurgitate them out safely and cleanly. How do they manage to do that cleanly? Is that the strip over there? There's the strip. See it, you guys? So we're not that far. There's a Ferris wheel, that thing that goes around and around. There's buildings that are very tall. There's things that are sticky, effy things. Um, this is actually a misnomer. You don't know this. But they were all designed for the aliens to be able to find us easier. From, from when they come here, it's like, you know, when a pilot's flying and they see landmarks, that's why Vegas is done that way. And that's why there's so many lights, so that they can see us from outer space. Is that not true? Am I right? Oh, I think you're right. Yeah. They can see us from outer space. Anytime I hear someone talk about uh, make sure your tires are inflated in your car, because everybody across the country, if your tires are like one pound less, this many extra barrels of oil a year we burn, and you come to Vegas and you see the Luxor with the Death Star Super Laser shining out of the top of the building, it's like, oh, well, that's probably completely offsetting any gains we get by filling our tires. But it's all for alien use. Yes. We know that. Well, yeah, the Luxor is intended to shoot down alien space. Oh, that's what's, that's what's keeping us safe. That's what's keeping us safe. Yes. That's why we're not usually abducted and exactly. that kind of thing. What are we saying? What, what did say? I think we've America. arrived. Where are we on? What are we? We're in South Southwest. Virgin America. This is a this is a PG thing, so you know. Bye. There we lost one, and then there were ten, and then we're gone, and it's whittling us down. I think this year would have been worth it, even if I didn't go to the convention at all, just to hang out in the bar with George Rabb and the sing along. That's what I heard last year too, but I can't stay up that late. I had to go upload video so that I could have video I, uploaded. I've got over an hour of video I shot of George Rapp and Richard Saunders playing guitar. I didn't know Richard Saunders plays guitar. Apparently he can. Did he do it with his teeth? No, he like George, George like pretty much when George was almost finished, he took a break, set his guitar down, and Richard kind of wandered up and started tinkering with the guitar. Richard Saunders is a very talented man. I had no idea Absolutely. the different things he could do. He claims he hasn't played in years, but he played pretty well for someone who hasn't played in years. Wow. I was uh, thinking that this cam is different. I, 
Look, tell the audience why they should come to a conference. If it's not this one, why you should go to a conference in general. Or do you think it's a good idea? Because like, oh, they're expensive. It, it, it's, it's an awesome <laughs> idea. I mean, you can watch videos of stuff later on. You can read blogs. But TAM is awesome. Oh, like no other convention I've ever been to. I haven't been to any skeptic convention besides TAM. But almost all the high level talent are people that will be wandering around, hanging out in bars. You can interact with them. There's, you know, like, you know, sometimes, some years, there's certain keynotes. Like Neil Tyson's not hanging out in the bar. Stephen Novello, George Grab, Daniel Huxted. I mean, there's just all the superstars of skepticism. Dr. Carl, just sitting in bars, chatting, chatting. And buses. Yeah, with, with everyday people. Sits down to breakfast with them, you never know. Yeah. That's why. Well, so it's the people. Yes. That's what I say. Absolutely. Because you can read the le uh, books and the lectures and the you stuff can, later. Read, you can read about them, you can watch videos, but you can't hang out and interact with these people by so, watching the videos. So you come, it, it is expensive. Um, there are, some of these have grants and there's ways of doing it cheaply. There, uh, the JREF Forum has usually scholarships, there's lots of scholarships. Um, People get involved in the community. A lot of times, you'll find people who are willing to share a room. You know, you get four people in a room. The the rates go down. There's ways of eating cheaply at these things. Um, you know, or and there's also local conferences that are not so expensive that you can go to. That um, you know, like in our area, I have Skeptical in Berkeley, uh, Oakland area. And that attracts 200, 250 people. We're on our fourth, we just had our fourth one. And that's one day. I mean, that was really fun, but it was one day. So I mean, it's possible. Oh, look, overpasses. Look at the terrain out here. Obviously created by aliens. That do not enter sign. There's actually something there. Do you want to tell us what? No, this is for? Oh, I. I'm just weird. Okay, yeah, no. Well, I, you know, I have the the Girl Skepticism Wikipedia project, right? So I have editors all over the world, and they watch videos and stuff. And so I decided I would kind of shoot a video of what Tam is like, and yeah. like you know, so they can experience the bus ride to the, you know, and what it is. It's just say hello to my editors from all over the world. And why should you come to a conference? You want to be around other people of like mind, especially if you live in an area that's very uh, right wing. You, you get your um, reality validated. Oh, that's good. I need, I need to see a that sounds like something you can put on a T-shirt. Well, I mean, otherwise you're being you know, abducted by space aliens. So. Yeah, here it's safe because I hear the Luxor has some kind of there's death the, ray. There's the Death Star Super Laser right there. Oh yeah, look. See, you see the pyramid right there? That was created to protect us. See the Luxor? What else do we have? Look, there's Medieval World, New York, New York. I think we're gonna come around a corner here. There we are, there we are. Look at, here it is. Ferris wheel, Luxor, diamond death ray thing. Stratosphere, Mandalay Bay. Yeah. Yeah. And in St. Louis, you know, we have the arch in St. Louis, and it's beautiful. And we're all impressed. It's 630 feet tall, and then you get to Vegas and go, yeah, there's a casino out here that's 1150 feet tall. 